right, so we're on our way. We're about 16 minutes away. Um, I didn't want to film the intro when I was on the freeway because it was just so noisy. Hopefully you guys can hear with the mic here, right here on my chest. I got my cat. I mean, we're ready to go. This is the first video in this series where I'm going to be touring the most exotic Airbnbs in the world, not just the country, in the world. So right now we're going through some road work. The host seems amazing. The pictures seem amazing. Um, it seems like a really small Airbnb, but I'm really excited to see. And at the end of each video, I wanna like have five different areas of critique from a scale from one to 10 for each Airbnb. And obviously since this is the first Airbnb, I can't give a lot of critique cause I haven't you know, stayed in any yet. This is the first video, but I'm still gonna give critique. So we just crossed over the bridge. Dio, how are you feeling? Okay, I think we're pulling up here. Looks like it doesn't get a whole lot of action back here. That's so cool. We have our little designated parking spot, Hobbit Parking. All right, so we got all our stuff and we're headed down. It's parked next to two houses. Um, both are the owners, but yeah, let's see what this underground masterpiece has. I want to say it's right up there, but let's walk around. Cause if we walk up there, technically we'd be on the roof and I got a bunch of luggage that I don't want to drop down on. Weak knees, weak knees. That's cool though. I feel like it already looks different than in the pictures. Oh, that is cute. Oh, that is so cute. Look at that. Look at that. I love that. All right, so I just put the cat inside. I just set my bag down and let's look, let's have a look around the, uh, the outside. We got a little fireplace for us cook our steak there maybe. The only thing I'm not seeing is wood and I was gonna bring some but I figured there'd be more trees around here that I can like venture off and go cut some which I could totally do that. I could make this a you know wilderness survivor survival hashtag luxury hobbit house behind me. Um, no we'll figure something out. I brought an, I brought an electric plug-in uh, grill thing just in case uh, we cook our steak on that as well. Give it a squeeze. Peaches! That, that's hard. That's a hard peach. That's not ripe. Oh, that guy's soft. Mm. That's so small, but that's, that's amazing. So this is kind of like a turf, which is interesting. I guess I, I didn't like scroll through every single picture. I just kind of booked it last minute. So I didn't notice that it was turf. I thought it was a little more underground. And if it was, it wouldn't be so hot inside, which I'll show you guys climbing up here. But no, I just walked inside to uh, drop my stuff off and it was like a heat wave of just Bleh. But yeah, here's the top, super cute. Got some random trees that will eventually grow and um, hopefully give this place some shade in the summer for future Airbnbers. I guess I'd be Gandalf right now. Welcome, welcome. Oh, this is so cute. Okay, this is so cute. So, okay, these lights. Yep, okay, those light switches. We'll leave those on for now while we're videoing. Uh, not insulated. That's probably why it's super hot. It's got some faded white paint on it though. It's a cool clock. Bunch of ships. I don't know, were there ships in the in the Hobbit? I don't know. It's interesting, it's cool. Got a cool checkerboard chair. The making of the Hobbit house. We'll look through that later, that's exciting. Cookies, woo! We'll be eating some of those. Matches. It's like a full thing of water. Coffee if we need it. Some food, tea, board games, which I can't play. Maybe Dio will play with me. You gonna play with me, Dio? Yeah? That's super cool. Got the screen if we wanna leave the door open at night, which we probably will. Electrical plugins, awesome. Okay, look at all these pictures though. One does not simply walk into Smordor. 
I don't know what the accent is. It's fine though. Oh, that's so cute. Look at that's a good that's a good picture. That's awesome. Chess. Got the pipe. This is so cool. There we go, Mr. 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 Pippin, right there. Sneaky little hobbitsies. Oh, look at that. That is not a hub house. That is a mushroom house. All right, and then we have our bed with my little, my little travel companion just laying on it. So while the fan's off, it's super freaking hot in here. I don't know if you can see I'm sweating. But, um, so, I mean, yeah, just for two people, um, obviously no e AC, summertime sucks. Of course, we're in Washington right now. We're on Bainbridge Island, which is just a beautiful island in Washington. So I wanna take a second to talk about today's sponsor, Box Power. I mean, these guys are absolutely amazing. When they say they have a thousand lumens, it puts off a thousand lumens. They sent me these two boxes, which are fog lights. I hooked them up on my car. They're just so bright. They serve their purpose. I mean, I think they come up really stylish as well. Box Power also has flashlights, headlamps. So go check them out, link in the description. This golf. So this is exciting. This is, you know, oh, that is so cool. Look at that. Bunch of kiddos just going after it with shovels. I mean, that is, that's dirt. That's, there's nothing there yet. You got the house in the background, bunch of kiddos. Oh, that is super cool. Okay, it's built now. Look at that, okay. So we got, you know, our, our framing up. Looks like tin, maybe? That look, I don't know, maybe it's just a vapor barrier. They got their cutouts with their cute little circular windows. Uh, laying the laying the, laying the pavers the bricks down Painting it see that's where maybe I was confused because that that's before the turf must have removed the dirt from I don't know if you guys can see that but look I mean they 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 used to have dirt on it So I wonder if it, it was too heavy or if it started getting just I mean it's super rainy in Washington so maybe just The so maybe it just started to just who knows, maybe it broke through. They had to clean the whole thing out. That's something kind of interesting. There's before the door was painted. Boom, woo! They got their little squirt guns. The pictures looked like it was dirt. Like it looked like a legit underground hobbit house, which I think would need to be maybe stronger beams, a different material. I, I'm gonna ask them, but I'm gonna figure out why they had to go from the, the dirt roof to now this, this fake turf, which you know, my first thought was like, you know, I, I was expecting like an underground hobbit house. So the turf kind of threw me off a little bit. Yo, are you hot? You got the fan, you just chilling over there, you spoiled little kitty. Uh, it is probably 95 degrees in there. It is so hot tonight. Once the sun goes down, I'm gonna put the fan like right next to the door and just blow in a bunch of cold air. So it's about 3.30 right now. So I'm gonna go downtown. Um, kind of along the water and just kind of explore the island. Look at that. It's a bunny. How small he is. Oh no. There was like really just that marina. There wasn't a whole lot of like waterfront to walk down and explore. And it just looks like a bunch of brains. I feel it, Dio. I feel it. It's hot! You can't do that. You can move this one. You want to move the bishop, okay. And then... With this one, you want to go this way? How many spaces? Dio, are you sniffing around? You smell that? I'm totally kidding, by the way. I didn't draw that. I'm gonna watch 
a little bit of a movie. I kind of watched it throughout the day as I was kind of bored. See y'all in the morning. Bhutan super comfy, I slept well. Um, bugs weren't an issue. I had the door open, but they had this like cir circular screen that I put up. And so I put the fan like on the outside, put the screen on, so it blew through the screen. Um, and then I put a weight down so the screen wasn't open and bugs were coming in. All right, so I kind of wanted to go through like scale from one to 10 over five aspects of the entire trip. So the first thing would be traveling. How was it traveling here? Um, traveling 10 out of 10 it was i'm literally 40 minutes from here so traveling was super easy and exterior of the home or the airbnb or hobbit house i'm gonna give it a 7 out of 10. um i would say 8 out of 10 just because the turf kind of threw me off but 7 out of 10 just for going to that level i mean hobbit houses are underground period you know they 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 love underground i love the circular door although it's more of like a you know, however many angles that is a gone right there. You no know, dead grass, which I mean, you can't really help, but like, you know, if you think of like a Hobbit house, I mean, it's in New Zealand, it's filmed in New Zealand, and it's just the most beautiful greenery scenery ever. Interior, I love the interior. I can't say anything bad about the interior. Um, I wish that there was like, more amenities i guess you know but i'm not complaining i'm still going to give it a 10 out of 10 because you know you come in knowing what there is right um i did come in thinking the roof would be covered with dirt to be honest because when i looked at pictures it was the beforehand and we looked at the hobbit book together when it was made and it was at first made with dirt so eventually they switched it over and i can see why i mean it rains a lot here and it's probably just really icky and heavy and <laughs> And then lastly, um, the overall trip. How was the overall trip? I got, I got bit a couple times last night. I think the worst thing I could say about it was, it was just so hot. I mean, they, they, I know that you come in knowing there's no AC, blah, blah, blah. You know what amenities are in here. But I wish that it, it, if they put an AC in the corner or where the heck ever, um, maybe on the other side, so right when you walk up, you're not seeing an AC unit. Like I'm talking like right here. Plus that would be perfect because it's right above the bed. Um, but if they were like, just set an AC unit right in here, that would be so great for summertime for future Airbnbers. I mean, this is video number one, you know, next Airbnb, we might travel the town a little bit more and show you around depending on what state, what country I go to and, um, show you around a little bit more. This was a little more homestead type video, but, um, it's the first one and many more to come. So, you know, thanks for watching. I really appreciate every single one of you guys and I hope you enjoy the first video of this series. Thank you.